don't you hate it when you have to deal with condensation issues in your van? Come and join me and I'll give you my top tips of how I have remedied the moisture issues and how I've stopped condensation. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and I have a van and just in case you didn't know and I've just been recently converting it and doing work on it. I um, recently put some of these pictures behind me up and some signs up here and it's a Mercedes mattress and today since it's pouring down outside I thought that I would talk about condensation. So I've seen lots of little videos on condensation how to get rid of it and all the things and since I have a no build van I started doing some work on it so it's not completely a no build but um, I had some issues at first and I had looked and looked and tried to found different remedies for it and I thought well why don't I just do a video too so I could maybe help somebody because I like to help people so let me tell you what I've done to stop with condensation issues in my van and I'll show you the first thing that I did to help with that because I I also you know had no insulation in the whole van so you know and I also have a dog so there's more breath going on you know and um two 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 uh, people that are breathing well one dog and one me and um so there's a lot of more condensation to deal with I feel like especially when you take your dog out and they get soaking wet and then they come in and they're yeah it's just a lot more to deal with so let me show you some things that I've done to help me with condensation one thing that I do to get rid of the condensation is I use this fan to blow the air out of the van so it goes out into the cab area here and um, since I have my windows open it blows the air out into this area and obviously normally I have my screens up I didn't put them up right now so I just wanted to show you and I wanted some light in here while I was doing it but yeah I've got this USB um, fan here I blow out the air you know like the our breath and everything it will be blowing out into the cab area so that it can go outside and I use my rock power for that to um, for to power it because it's a USB fan so that's one of the things that I do to keep the condensation down another thing that I did to stop with condensation issues is I insulated my ceiling so as you can see it's not a it's not just a metal um, ceiling anymore because I actually insulated it so I put some insulation in above the plywood and then I attached it all to the ceiling and then I finished it off here on the sides because the plywood ended and then I just put some plywood I put some wooden pieces to finish off the edge so that I'm not even kidding helped so it was only $30 for that damn plywood it wasn't that bad which is more than it used to be but still it's it was thirty dollars and then i obviously painted it because i didn't really want the wood because my van is white and gray i wanted to keep with those colors so i did just paint it and i got sherwin williams paint it was like thirty dollars for the plywood and i think 20 for those for that side and then 20 for the other side and then i got the paint so in the end it was it was only about I don't know it was less than it wasn't even 80 it was less than 80 dollars honestly it wasn't much so that has really helped with the heat and insulation has gone away that insulation the condensation is gone and it's really been a non-issue since I did that another thing I got is this mini dehumidifier but I didn't I bought this before I insulated and before I got my rain, my WeatherTech guards. So I kind of didn't need it. I could have returned it, but I got it on Amazon. But they do work really well. I've I've seen reviews and they were quite good. So I got this and I've never needed it. So if anyone needs it, just let me know. I can send it to you because I'm not going to need it. 
and um but yeah that is one thing you can do that's really cheap i think it was even less than ten dollars it might have even been five i really can't remember i'd have to look it up on amazon but it was really reasonable so that is pretty easy to do obviously you just empty it when you need to and you just buy another one so there you go another thing that i have in my van to stop with condensation is these WeatherTech rain guards which means I can still open my window to let airflow because that's what you need is to like have some airflow so you don't have issues with the condensation but they've helped a lot I think they're about $60 and they're really worth it honestly so they're my top tips and I don't have any issues now because I like I said, insulated the ceiling here, which I think was a big help. And then I got this fan that's actually here that blows out into the cab area, gets rid of it because the windows are open there. And then I have that other thing that I don't really need that you could use if you needed to. And I can send it to anybody who wants it. Thanks for joining in with my channel today. I'll be back maybe on Wednesday and all the weekend with some more adventures or some more tips on van life. Thanks again. See you soon. Mm -hmm.